Jackson, how do you improve on what you did last year? Uh, I mean, there's always room for improvement. I think for me, uh, consistency, hang time for me. You know, we uh, gave up, I think it was 12 yards in returns last year. Obviously, a goal for us is to give up zero. So um, any way that I can improve in terms of punting is important in terms of hang time, location, and everything, as well as for me getting back into kickoffs. You know, last year throughout the season, I wasn't kicking off. So that's something for me, a point of emphasis is and going into this season is getting back into kickoffs and performing well in those and um, really just helping our unit as much as possible. So. Is your hang time as important as your distance? Um, I, th I think they're equally important, you know. You can't have w too much of one or the other um, without lacking. Um, so I think hang time is obviously important um, to let our guys get down there, but you also don't want to have a lot of hang time with not a lot of distance. So um, I, I would say they're equally important, and a good balance of, of both is um, ideal, uh, as well as location. So all of that combined makes my life easier and everybody that's covering the punts life easier too so you you were a senior last year you had the option to come back for the next year how much of a decision was that for you to, to come back this year um i think it wasn't that hard of a decision for me just because of my goals and, and things i want to accomplish this year you know one of those was putting on weight in the off season um was able to gain some weight continuing to gain weight throughout the year is one of my goals as well as like i said kicking off holding again, all of those things, as well as this coaching staff, you know, they've come in, done a great job, the culture, in terms of building the culture the way that we want. Um, I like to feel like I have an, an essential role in that. And so um, kind of continuing to build the program and leaving it better than I found it, I think is kind of a, a, a few of the reasons that, you know, made that decision easy for me, so. so we always ask like quarterbacks and receivers who they grew up watching. Right. Hunters grow up watching hunters. Like, is there a, like an, a hunter you watched as a kid just really like, I got a model my game after that guy. Yeah, I mean, I think it's different for everybody. Um, I'm sure there's quarterbacks out there that didn't watch really a particular person in general, and there's guys that, okay, this, this is my idol guy, right? Um, I think for me it was kind of a mix. You know, Johnny Hecker's in there, um, and then Thomas Morstead, obviously. I, I like things from both of those guys. But I also, you know, punting is one of those things, similar to quarterbacks in any other position where there's a technique side of it you know you want you have your own unique technique it's not the same for everyone so um, I think for me it's kind of grabbing bits and pieces of a lot of different guys yeah. that you know have performed at a high level and and kind of making my own out of it I well, guess like with, with Hecker you guys are physically similar is it? right you can look at him and say okay well maybe I can do some of these things that right. he can do because of the similarity or yeah I think um, for me Bradley Pinion's a guy a lot like me as he's the punter at the the Buccaneers and um, he's actually from you know, similar area as me, and so I get to work out some in the off season with him, and we're similar build. So a lot of times I'll look at what he's doing and, and try and implement a lot of those things. So you're exactly right. I think guys that are similarly built to me, you know, J.K. Scott's coming out right. of Alabama, guys like that that are, you know, tall and, and lanky and long. So um, yeah, for sure. You know, is I that, think that's is true. Is that what everybody's looking for? Is it is that that kind of size now? Uh, I don't know if there's an ideal build. You know, similar to quarterback, you have you know what your prototypical quarterback was a couple years ago it was you know a you know six three two thirty guy right and now you see guys like Kyler Murray that are smaller and same trend is happening with punters you see guys that perform at a high level that are might not be as tall um, I think obviously height and my frame helps me um, just in being able to generate power and torque and everything like that so um, I think it, it benefits me, but it's definitely not like a requirement, I don't think so. So what's a kickoff competition like? We never get a chance to see any of that kind of stuff. How, how many kicks, uh, how often, take us through that. In terms of like a camp? Kickoff, no, kickoff duty, competing for that role right. for kickoff duty. Take us like, tell us what that competition's like. Uh, I, I think it's just really the reps and practice. Um, and with this staff, it's very limited. We try to not, wear our guys out too much, you know, Coach Hypo preaches being the freshest team in the country, so we don't get a lot of those full team rep kickoffs, and so um, really making the most of all the opportunities that you have. For me, it's a lot of work in the off season, so that when those opportunities come, you know, I can, I can crush it, and it's really just, you know, reps, and you can kind of see from, you know, the team reps who is doing better or, or worse or whatever, and um, 
you know, those guys in our room, we're, we all are super close and, and, you know, Toby's a great guy. He, you know, did a great job last year, you know, hopping in, especially in the pit game on short notice, you know, and so he's always ready to go and um, as with all of our guys in our room. And so I think that's always super important. Competition is always super important to have everybody be able to perform at a high level. Um, so I think it's just more so in practice, the reps, that, the limited reps that we have, I think is How key. How hard is it? Yeah, um, I think for me it's a little bit easier just because I have the experience of doing it. You know, I did all three in high school. I kicked off punt and um, did field goals, and so for me it's not too difficult. Um, obviously, you have the wear and tear on your legs, and you know, Coach Heupel wants to score all these points, and so we got to kick off a lot. But um, things like that, you know, you take into account and. Um, are definitely things I have to work through just in my preparation and recovery between games and preparing during the week, you know, to make sure I'm as fresh as I can be. Um, but in terms of technique wise, I think there are two different techniques, um, kickoff and punt and field goal is different too. And so it's really just making sure that I have equal time and adequate time to be able to practice each of the techniques and be able to implement them on the field. So. You talked about watching guys in the NFL. You, you, there's a future predecessor Right, yeah, so uh, definitely the Colquitt family, obviously, are the name when it comes to punting in Tennessee, and they have played a huge role in my um, development in terms of, uh, you know, I, I've, I've talked a lot with Craig Colquitt, and um, me and him talk, and he's, he helps at the camp a lot of times, and Britton's been back a couple times, came to camp, and came back to practice some, so really when they're in town mostly is when I just kind of pick their brain about anything and everything I can you know and, and kind of learn from them as well as you know Trevor Daniel was here the year before me and um, kind of have contact with him and, and asking and learning from him too and watching him go on but um, I mean there's definitely a lineage of punters as as everybody that's a Tennessee fan knows um, and so kind of just asking any questions I have you know they usually have an answer and um, it's super valuable, I think, at the University of Tennessee to have that lineage of punters to be able to kind of ask those questions. So, why did your injury allow you to punt last year, but affect you on kickoffs? Um, well, I think it did kind of affect me punt-wise. It still, obviously, it wasn't 100% for most of the year, but um, I think mostly the fact that the swing paths are kind of different. So. Um, punting, you're using more of your um, quadriceps and, and hamstrings, whereas my kickoffs, I was using more groin, and, and so I, which is why I ended up injuring that. Um, and so now, for me, a big, a big piece of that in the off season is working on my kickoff technique so that doesn't happen again. So trying to put some of that stress on those larger muscles and things. So um, I think it's just the different swing paths are, are really what is the cause of kind of the different effects. So. Thank you, Paxton. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Paxton.